Hey everybody, you know that famous um, anti-vegan slash pro-raw meat YouTuber named, uh, his channel used to be called Sferage, apparently now it's Gatis. Um, funny Eastern European guy who's made a lot of anti-vegan videos and uh, video supporting, uh, supporting raw meat and uh, raw liver consumption, lots of raw liver and things like that. And some of you may have uh, thought, oh, I wonder if Peter has a nuanced take on this guy. Well, as a matter of fact, I do. And I've known about him for a while, I just haven't really, I haven't really watched his videos much until recently, uh, where I was kind of curious. And one of the first things he noticed when he watched his videos, of course, is that his face is red in a lot of them, which is a clear sign of vitamin A toxicity. Um, but anyways, he actually, he says a lot of good things, he makes some interesting points about interesting subjects. So let's get into this a little bit. Now really the reason I thought about making this video today is because of this um, information that's come out recently about him doing all this crazy stuff like releasing revenge porn about one of his ex-girlfriends uh, hiring somebody to attempt to kill and burn down the house of his ex-girlfriend which was partially successful. Anyways, but I'm gonna get, get to that later. First let's talk about the, <laughs> the diet stuff. Um, I think, uh, I think uh, Gatis actually does a, a very good service to vegans and especially raw vegans. Um, we've seen some of those compilation videos, some of which he does, other which others, um, others do as well. And basically so, shows a bunch of really sort of unhealthy looking uh, vegans or raw vegans in a video montage. Or he might just look at, just watch one video and comment on it as it's going, right? And I know a lot of vegans dismiss that and they're just like, well that's just genetics or that person looks per perfectly fine for most of the people in the video. Um, I would say the videos are actually kind of helpful because such videos virtually don't exist in like the carnivore movement, the paleo movement, etc. Uh, really the only sort of fad diet movement that has those kinds of video about it is raw veganism and veganism. And one of the reasons is because it's kind of unique that people for various reasons um, get themselves to kind of a, into a kind of like a poor health state and they're kind of delusional about it. And one of the things that vegans need to watch for uh, when they're watching those videos, don't just dismiss all those people because you look at the person, oh, they look fine. Sometimes, it's true, sometimes Gatis isn't really fair and there's somebody that actually just looks fine in the video, like that person looks per perfectly healthy and he's kind of watching the video commenting like, oh, that person looks so unhealthy. No, they don't. But a lot of the people, you have to watch out for certain things, for example, the top face, the bags under their eyes, the eyes sunken into their head, it looks like their brain is like consuming itself. And uh, those are the kinds of things you, you can't really ignore, but I think uh, vegans or raw vegans just kind of gloss over it because of sort of confirmation bias, or they don't even really want to think or notice about things like that. Or they'll just say, oh, it's genetics. Oh, the person was just tired. They're just tired, uh, that's all. Um, but if you look at pictures, sometimes they'll show pictures of somebody from eight years ago, six years ago, four years ago, and the progression is, is sometimes alarming. Uh, the person is just not just aging the normal amount somebody would age in eight years, but you can tell they're wasting away. So there's a lot of examples of that in the raw vegan movement and I, that I've seen personally as well. Um, so like I said, I think he's doing a good service to the vegan movement and the raw vegan movement by bringing those things up. Um, now, as for his diet, it's obviously he eats, Obviously, he eats uh, too much raw liver, right? That's why his face is red, but that's also why he's crazy. He already was crazy to begin with. Um, you may have heard about him like stabbing somebody in high school or something like that. But if you're crazy to begin with and then you start following a really strict diet of just raw meat with raw liver, uh, lots of raw liver, um, it's not going to end well, right? Because vitamin A toxicity is linked to mental illness in a number of different studies, even schizophrenia. So. Uh, what we what we saw happening um, that's come out recently, not just him posting revenge porn of his ex-girlfriend on a Telegram channel, but he also apparently, with some other carnivore YouTuber, uh, he paid this guy one Bitcoin to um, do arson and an acid attack. So this guy did an acid, he's now in jail, not Gatis, but the guy that he paid to do it, did an acid, acid attack on their shared ex-girlfriend and burned down her house. So her house is burned down and she got an acid, acid attack, which is attempted murder. Um, and the guy who did it is in jail, and he's saying that Gatis paid him to do it. And he's also saying that he threatened him to do it, but another ex-girlfriend is saying, oh, they were both planning on doing it all along anyways. It's ridiculous. The guy's obviously totally crazy. Still, if you watch his videos, some of the things he said is pretty interesting. Now, of course, I disagree with his promotion of, of lots of raw liver and organ consumption. I think 
because uh, I've made a number of videos talking about the things that both vegans and carnivore dieters get wrong. And one of those is vitamin A or its precursor, uh, beta carotene. Um, you maybe hear that crazy bird in the background. The guinea hen is, the guinea rooster, he's, he's mad that he lost his mate. She ran away earlier today because she was scared of the dogs or something. And she hasn't come back yet, so he's just been like squawking all day long over there. She, he doesn't even want to go and look for him. It's ridiculous uh, for her. Mm. Anyways, what else can I say about this Gatis guy? Um, yeah, I mean, check out his video on Wim Hof. He, he makes some great... I know it seems like he's always oh, being really harsh on the guy. He makes a lot of great points. Um, Wim Hof quite simply does not look healthy, and that's, that's just a fact. Um, he, and he, yeah, he has sort of dementia symptoms with the way that he talks. I know some of us aren't familiar with that. So, um, I think, I think Gatti tends to be oversimplistic with some of his health advice. For example, it's just like, don't exercise, no exercise. Anything you, any exercise you do is shortening your life, right? Doesn't that kind of sound like raw vegans and fasters saying like, don't eat. Any eating you do is shortening your life. The less calories, the better. Like Lauren Lockman telling people that he eats 900 calories a day. Be like, no, the more you eat, the lesser your lifespan, the lesser cal the more calories you need to process them. It it's like a really oversimplistic uh, idea of how things actually work. So I think uh, raw vegans do that with fasting and calorie consumption, but Gatti says that about exercise. He's, yeah, I agree. It's, it's pointless to body build. Um, but you need enough muscle to be able to do things. Like, for example, uh, I don't do physical labor all day, but if somebody needs me to put a 50 kilogram sack of cement in my shoulder and carry it up a hill, I can certainly do it. It's not hard for me. So you need to have enough muscle to be able to do those kinds of tasks. And I think a lot of, um, um, I, I don't know, some of his followers might be inclined to sit around doing nothing more and more and not do any physical activity just because Gatti says don't exercise. It doesn't do any way good. I don't think that's really true. I think there's a point at which exercise becomes harmful for you doing too much, but I also think there's a point at which uh, too little becomes harmful for you. And I think Dr. Gary Smith talks about that when he, when he talks about frailty. Like once you start to become frail, there's no going back. Like you need to use your muscles and tendons to a certain extent, you know? So yeah, he's over simplistic about that. He's over simplistic about humans' natural diet. Uh, obviously humans uh, did not eat a pure, raw, pure carnivore diet for all of the, I, did, I covered this in my nine minute human ancestral diet video where I went over our ancestral diet. Sure, there were times when humans were eating, uh, ancient humans were eating probably just meat for months on end, for example, in winter and in cold climates. Definitely, for sure, uh, humans for hundreds of thousands of years would go months at a time eating just meat, but then they would also go weeks or months at a time eating a wide variety of plant matters. And that is true according to fossil evidence. Um, so he has a really oversimplistic view of nutrition um, to be telling people, oh, just eat a diet of pure raw meat and especially lots of raw liver. Now, raw uh, liver is, uh, for example, if you compare the weight of a liver of a cow versus all the muscle meat, it's like 4% or something like that. So that means, um, if you were to eat, uh, liver at a proportion that your ancestors would have been hunting large game, that would be one day a month you'd be eating liver. Um, but I even think that's too much. Remember, it's, people often observe their house cats, like the cat that we have down at the community house. The first ever rat that he killed, he did not eat the liver. And there was just a rat liver on the floor. He ate so cleanly everything else. He even ate the fur and the tail and left his little tiny rat liver on the floor. That was all he left. And he's done that with some other animals after that. Now, of course, now he does eat liver of various animals that he catches. But, um, and other cats do as well. But it's interesting, the liver tastes so bad that young cats and sometimes other animals don't want to eat it. They'll go out of their way to eat around it, right? Um, when something tastes really bad, that's a sign that it contains things that are not good for you because your taste buds evolved with the things that you eat. Uh, this is another thing that both carnivore dieters and raw vegans get wrong. Raw vegans are like, and even vegans too, they're like, oh, all these bitter things and these bitter herbs and these spicy foods, they're good for you. You just have to, you know, learn to like them. Uh, and same with carnivores, have to like learn to like liver because of course liver tastes disgusting. And once you start eating it and become addicted to the vitamin A toxicity, of course you're gonna think it tastes amazing and you're gonna keep eating tons of it. But uh, it's really crazy this idea that we should force ourselves to eat things that are disgusting um, because supposedly there's some magical chemical in it that's good for you. That's modern nutrition speaking. That's not in, in, in ancient ancestry or anything like that. Um, anyways, that's all I got to say in the matter. Those are my nuanced thoughts, my hot takes on, on Gatti slash Sverage. Um, in short summary, I think he's crazy because he paid someone to kill his ex-girlfriend and, and uh, burn down her house. 
uh, and I think um, he's a bit oversimplistic about diet, nutrition in some areas and exercise. On the other hand, I think he says a lot of intelligent things. I think it's worth listening to some of his videos and I think he does the vegan and raw vegan movement a great service by exposing the serious problem with sort of eating disorders and mal malnutrition um, that, that they have. So that's all I got to say. Make sure you check out um, uh, libertyhomesteads.com if you're interested in buying a permaculture homestead group land buy in Ecuador at very affordable prices. Also fruithaven.org, similar type of deal. terrafrutas.com, amazonfruitfestival.com. Come down here and join us in the mountains, remote rural mountains of southeast Ecuador, high elevation, um, remote area, very good place to survive the uh, NWO, NWO apocalypse with us.